filosofi orang Papua Kita menghormati tanah dan hutan sebagai mama kita Laut adalah ayah kita Yang terus menghidupkan kita dari turun temurun Sampai dunia ini berakhir This is the greatest of all The center of all marine biodiversity Because this incredible geological history Maybe 600 species of coral thousands of species of fish. It is rich beyond imagination, literally that. And that's just fish, and then there's invertebrates, uh, and coral, and everything else here. My partner Jennifer and I have been swimming around in Raja Ampat for years, in different places, and we saw, when those years passed, and all that time in the water, we saw three sharks and some wobegongs. Those were the only sharks that were not taken. The rest were taken for shark fin soup, bowls and bowls and bowls of it, and they disappeared. Apa yang kita lakukan di dalam Star Project ini yaitu adalah salah satu bentuk nyata dari implementasi inisiatif pembangunan berkelanjutan terkait dengan bagaimana kita melestarikan hiu belimbing ini yang memiliki peranan sangat penting di dalam ekosistem laut. Raja Ampat isn't alone in terms of its leopard shark population being highly depressed to the point of almost not seeing them anymore. That has happened actually most of the way across the Indian and Pacific Ocean. Um, but in a very interesting conservation asymmetry, they're almost extinct in the wild, and yet they're doing really well in large public aquaria. And so this obviously is an interesting asymmetry that we can take advantage of. And that's what led to the STAR project, this incredible collaboration between large public aquaria and conservation organizations and the West Papua government and the communities here in order to basically breed the sharks in public aquaria, those of the right genetic uh, makeup, and then bring their eggs here to Raja Ampat where we can have them hatch, and then we can release the pups just like we did today. Um, you know, this was a world first conservation translocation of an endangered shark species, and we're just as proud as we can possibly be of that. But this was just a first step. You know, we, we today we released two. We intend to get to a point where we're releasing 25 to 50 animals at a time. Kita bersyukur bahwa Raja Ampat dipilih menjadi salah satu lokasi untuk uh, konservasi hiu belimbing dan kita berharap ini akan menjadi uh, modal bagi Raja Ampat ke depan gitu. So at first, um, we were taking care of them from 50 cm, we feed them, seeing their growth, and then we always recorded um, to the husbandry team as well. And also, by the time they discuss and they can say that um, it's ready for the tagging, by having the tag inside of their body, we can sense their presence within distance, even though we don't see them. Oh, I think I got something. Oh, it's Charlie! Oh, it's Charlie! Yay! Now we gotta get through. Now we gotta get one. We gotta get one. Oh, that's so funny. We're at the final stage of the end of phase one of the zebra shark project of the shark. On the day of the release, everyone was so energized in the morning, ready, knowing what was to come. We, uh, Nesha and I had a moment actually where we looked down at Kat and Charlie in the pen, knowing this is the last time we were gonna see them in the sea pen, and the next time we'd see them swimming was gonna be in Wyag. transitioned the sharks from the sea pen across the jetty and into these big yellow bins on the boat. And after those, they were loaded, Nesha jumped on the boat with Max and we watched the boat take off away up north toward Wyag. When I saw Wyak in the distance, it was like sunshine. It was such a good weather. We even had baby mantis welcoming us. I would call that a very good omen. They're welcoming their new uh, neighbors. 
And then when we got to the beach, everyone was just very, like so glad that we made it safe and sound and super excited to see these first two sharks. It's going to be like the ambassador for every stags and every sharks and rays in the world when it comes to reintroduction program. Tentunya ini juga merupakan satu pembuktian daripada kerja kolaborasi yang sangat erat dari semua para pihak baik pemerintah daerah juga pemerintah nasional dan para mitra terkait upaya-upaya perlindungan dan pemanfaatan ini saya pikir ini adalah sangat penting bagi kami dan ini juga bukan hanya bagi kami tapi bagi pengguna kawasan konservasi ini menjadi salah satu tonggak sejarah di Raja Ampat khususnya bagi masyarakat suku Kawe yang notabene memiliki wilayah adat mereka. Ini merupakan salah satu langkah progres bagaimana dengan uh, bangga mereka harus uh, bersama-sama kami untuk menjaga dan melindungi hiu belimbing di Laguna Wayak. Kalau suku Maya diam dan tidak pernah mereka berpikir untuk melindungi, maka suatu saat anak cucu mereka tidak akan dapat apa-apa. Karena filosofi orang Papua, kita menghormati tanah dan hutan sebagai mama kita, laut adalah ayah kita, yang terus menghidupkan kita dari turun temurun sampai dunia ini berakhir. Saya percaya Yublimbing akan terus berkembang dan populasinya akan semakin meningkat di Raja Mark. Dan ini adalah kebanggaan untuk masyarakat. The path that this program will pave will be critical to creating more reintroduction programs, to create future sustainable sustainability for our oceans. And that's what's really important, is to continue this, not just for zebra sharks, but for others that are endangered as well. I was really touched today by how much love these zebra sharks have behind them. I mean, you know, the Mark calls them the shark nannies. They were crying to release it. I think that love can be very powerful and the passion that people have behind really wanting this program to work. Everything has been so carefully orchestrated. I'm 100% confident that it will be successful. I guess the best way to describe it, a bittersweet moment when Nesha holding a shark is going to release it in Wyag and the shark swims free and dives down and disappears into the green water. It's a culmination of what the project is all about. Get over here, Shannon. Get over here. <laughs> If we do what we're planning to do, releasing 50 to 100 animals per year for a five year plus period, within 10 to 20 years, we see them come back to uh, you know, an absolutely healthy, genetically diverse population with zero chance of extinction. So that obviously it's something that, that uh, a no brainer as to what we were gonna do. We've accomplished so much. We're standing here at the beginning. We have proof of concept. Join us in the next step as we scale up to increase our impact, not only to fully recover zebra sharks, but to move on to the next species and the next species after that. Visit us at reshark.org to learn more about how you can take action for these sharks.